You know, for a while in, in Hollywood and music industry, they try to bug break black men and how they try to bug break them. They make them want to put on a dress. Now we've seen Kevin Hart put on a dress. Of course, Martin Lawrence put on a dress. Tyler Perry built his whole empire off of wearing the dress. Let's call it what it is. You remember Dave Chappelle was saying that they wanted him to put on the dress and he said he wasn't going to do that. He also said that, you know, he knew a lot of actors in Hollywood that was doing some job boning to some Hollywood producers. He said he never did that either because Dave Chappelle is one of the real ones out here. But you had the, an, another black man and not a, a black man that's, you know, part of the LGBT community. No, another supposedly heterosexual black man put on a dress, Kid Cudi. Now you supposed to be some hip hop artist and you put on a dress on Saturday night live. Why you brothers got to lower your integrity to put on a dress. Now, if you part of the LGBT and that's what you do. And, and like, you know, Dave Chappelle say you part of the T's then that. Okay. I ain't got nothing to say, but when you're not part of that community and you still putting on a dress, why, why are you putting on a freaking dress? That's not a place for you to be wearing. Then you got GQ magazine up here making an article talking about, Oh, well, you know, men wearing dresses are being normalized. No, it's not. No, it's not at all. The fact is you have some weak worm of the dust, black men who can't make things on their own. So they go up there to white mommy and daddy in Hollywood and they tell them, look, you know what? It would be great if you put on a dress now. Why? And you notice they always doing this to black men. Have you noticed this? Now I know you're going to say, well, what about these other, you know, uh, stories in, in, uh, movies like two Wong Fu and, uh, Mrs. Doubtfire and all the different ones. Those are one offs. That's not the norm for white actors to put on a dress all the time. It's not okay. Or Hispanic actors, whatever, but whether it's musicians or movies, they always trying to make a black man put on a dress or try a black man like Terry Crews. Now K Terry Crews told the story that he, when he was at this Hollywood party, this, you know, white dude come up to him and literally grabs him on his stuff and he didn't beat him down to the white meat. Listening to his wife saying, no, you can't do that or whatever. Forget that. If I'm big old swole up, huge Terry Crews, I'm going to beat you down to the white meat. Okay. I'm going to press charges. And I'm, I'm telling my wife, look, you got the bill money anyway. I'm not worried about it. I got money because you know what? I really have my dignity F a career F anything from these people. See, the problem is with a lot of you black men out here is that you don't do for self. That's your problem. Because when you do for self, you ain't got to put on the dress. You, when you do for self, you ain't got to get on your knees to another man. And that's not what you, you know, the community you're part of, but you're going to do that. Okay. I remember, you know, what some uh, months ago, they talked about the singer Christopher Thomas. One of the women said that they, you know, a, a lawyer caught Christopher Thomas giving uh, a, a puffy, you know, jawbone. Okay. I can believe that out of him because puffy looks sweet. He do. Let's call it what it is. All y'all, all y'all know he do. I mean, he, he looked like he go both ways. Okay. Let's, let's, let's call it what it is. You know, there's certain levels to this, what you call metrosexual. And that's what he is. That's fine. But I always say, be a front, what you got going on. There's a community for that now, but black men putting on a dress and, and, and looking at that's normal. I mean, if you look at the pictures of this, I mean, come on, man, it, that, that's just not even, that's not even right, man. That's not even right for if you, if, if like I can say it's if, if you are a so-called, you know, straight male, this is why they come up now with this super straight movement. They talking about now, because you know, what they're trying to do is blur the lines with, what a, a, a straight person is and what a person of, of the LGBT community could be. Okay. And they've been doing this mess, you know, for a long time and they're trying to use black folks to do it, but they attack black folks and black folks say, nah, you know, that's just not what we do. We respect you and, and live your life. But it's just not what we do. And so when black folks say that, oh, well, you know, you must, you homophobic, you transphobic, you this and that. It's so bad now with Hollywood and, and the music industry that they're trying to press up on straight men and saying straight men are transphobic. If you do not want to date a trans woman, this is what they're saying. You know what I'm saying? And listen, 
ain't nobody got a right to be telling a man that he has to be with anybody outside of who he wants to be with. Okay. You don't let nobody tell you that. You don't let nobody say, you know, say you or you're most homophobic or whatever they try to say about black people. You know, they, they always try to put everything on the black man, you know, and woman, but definitely for sure the black men. If you don't lay down and let people abuse you, you know, rape you, sodomize you and anything else, then something's wrong with you. If you have integrity, you know, about yourself, you are, you are a confident black man. Oh, you arrogant. Oh, you uppity. You know, the traits that's praised in other races, when it comes to black men, that's not praise. See, when it comes to me and the way I get down, I'm old school. I told y'all that I'm old school in a lot of ways. And ain't nothing y'all going to tell me to make me change or anything because what I'm doing is working. If what I was doing wasn't working and something else is going on, then, you know, that's another conversation. But for sure, ain't no dress. And I'm using the word ain't today. Ain't no dress is going to be put on my body at all for nothing. Cause I don't need you like that. See, the thing is when you build yourself brothers, when you build yourself and whatever it is, you don't have to sit up there and wear no doggone dress. See, the problem is too many of you brothers want to get somebody's doggone job. It, even when you're trying to sign it to a record label, you're trying to get a job. You the talent. Why in the world do you need to go to them for? They ain't got no talent. They never had the talent. It's your talent. I, you don't need to be performing on no Saturday Night Live and you got to put on a doggone dress. Like, I'd rather perform in my, in my city or wherever somebody will have me. But this is another black man. And like I said, I don't respect no black man that, that, that calls himself so-called straight putting on no doggone dress because I know the agenda behind it. You know, Dr. Francis Cress Wilson said that long time ago that they're going to try to sit up there and get the black man in the doggone dress. She said that long time ago and you constantly keep seeing it. My thing is what goes in your mind to say that's okay. You grew up seeing your mother put on dresses. You grew up seeing your, your, your grandmother, your aunts, your sister, or whoever else put on dresses. You know, good. Well, that's not what straight men do, but yeah, you put this mess out here. And think that's okay. And people have a right to call you out, Kid Cuddy, for this. People have a right to say, I just don't want to food his music. And then people say, well, oh, well, why? Because we don't, it's not honest. You, you, you sitting up there selling yourself, whoring yourself out for money. And what man is, is, should be respected like that? Men should be respected on their principles. Men should be respected on their, you know, standing on their square. You get what I'm saying? You know, you never seen 50 Cent put on no doggone dress. 50 Cent, you know, that's what I respect about him. You never seen Jay-Z put on no doggone dress. A whole lot of brothers I can start naming off you've never seen in the dress. you never seen Dame Dash put on no dress. Dame Dash made, you know, himself. You know, you never seen brothers like Jay Prince ever go that route. Why? Jay Prince made himself. you never seen Russell Simmons do that sort of thing. Russell Simmons made himself. See, when brothers make yourself... And, and you know, uh, you good businessmen, you don't have to get on your knees or, or bend over and, and, and let another man go in your bussy or sit up here, put on a dress. You ain't got to do that when you're a made man. So be a made man. Cause right there, that's, that's an employee that you saw. Cause employees have to follow what their master tell them to do. When you're a made man, you do what you're going to do. And you know what? As part of being a made man in business, you can walk away from a deal. Some not, not every dime is good. Even, even when that, that video I saw a long time ago, Bobby Schmurder cutting a jig in front of them folks to get a record deal, man, if you got to cut a jig like that to get a freaking record deal, man, walk off from that deal. Say, man, I'm not going to embarrass myself because y'all going to record me cutting a jig for y'all. And this video going to last even to when I'm gone. Have some respect for yourselves, black men. Have some respect. Who cares if, if, if the folks don't like you, it don't matter if other black people don't like you. If you ain't got nothing else, brothers, you got your dignity and your respect as a man, always protect that. Don't be like no kid Cuddy and no Kevin Hart putting on the dress and all the rest of them putting on the dresses. Don't you dare do that. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about, you know, the situation with kid Cuddy, Cuddy just disrespecting himself. He don't represent black men. He don't represent me. I don't want to hear you brothers saying this is embarrassing for us as black men. No, the hell is not. Y'all got to stop sitting up here taking on degradation with us as black men. 
I'm a, if I'm going to take anything on, I'm going to take on, you know, the brothers that's, you know, making, you know, the money, the brothers that's doing uh, accomplishments, the brothers that's coming out with inventions. I'm taking the good. No other group of men takes the bad and say, oh, it's us. The hell with that. That's him. He don't represent us as black men. He represent himself. Don't you ever let nobody tell you you're responsible for some, you know, Kid Cuddy or Pookie and Ray Ray or anything else. Like I say, if you sit there and let somebody do that to you, then, then you silly. 